Hey comic book fans, Walking Dead fans, YouTube fans, comic book fans, all you fans out there. Welcome back to Comic Book Corner and it's me, Spider Slayer. We are getting ready to do another walkthrough slash review of The Walking Dead uh, issue number 9. That's what we're going to be doing. So yes, we are doing another Walking Dead Rewind. Um, issue 9. Uh, basically has a lots of uh, zombie action in this episode or series or book. Um, awesome cover first off. Um, great cover. You see an eyeball with like a fly on it and you see Rick in there off the reflection. Just really really cool. I guess it's a zombie eye. Uh, awesome awesome. The story took place in the last issue as our group finds and estates uh, some kind of um, development called Hill Wilshire Farms or whatever it was and um, Wilshire Estates that's what it was and they go to seek um, shelter there and they're, they're hoping to start a new life and looking to start over and you know little do we know at the end of the issue um, the snow starts to melt and there's a sign written on the entrance saying all dead do not enter and that's how the issue ended so in this issue um, there is definitely some zombie action that goes on um, lots of action great stuff um, obviously our book is done by Robert Kirkman Charlie Adler does the art and Rathburn does the gray tones in this book um, but this is where the story starts heating up here lots of great stuff that happens and even actually some stuff compares to the show um, on this particular issue as well um, also in this issue uh, we get to meet our friend Otis so you guys all remember Otis Shane who killed him made him left him for zombie meat and here's what he looks like in the comic book um, so now you get to see both sides of it so one more time Otis from show. Otis from comic book. All right. So with that being said, I'm back. So we're getting ready to do the walkthrough here. So ready. Walking Dead issue number nine. So Rick and Lori they wake up in the uh, morning time, and Carl is all sleepy. He hasn't slept in days. No one slept in days, and Lori's talking to Rick and just describing on basically, oh my god, I couldn't tell you the last time that he slept this good. And everyone's just having a good old time, you know, having, you know, sexual relations and having partners getting along with each other. And um, we have uh, Carol and Tyrese getting along with each other. And we have um, uh, Alan and... and and uh, Donna, they're having a good time, and they're just talking about how this could be a new beginning for them, and everything's changed, and uh, we can see us leave, living here for a long time. So after all that little discussion, a little love making, a little happiness, <coughs> Rick sets the group out right here, and he gathers them all up. And this shows that you know Rick is really taking part of this uh, um, leadership role. And we can see him here directing, telling everybody where to go, how the group, how the um, split up the group, and where to go, what houses to search, see if there's any zombies. You know, do what you have to do in order to make the place safe. Once the place is safe, we can all live in it, and that's what Rick is trying to tell the group. Um, Rick is going out to to the gun to go get the RV, uh, going out to the RV to go get the gun, just for protection sakes. Um, so as Rick goes outside, um, he sees the sign where the where the snow was on, and it eventually melted. So, 
Excuse me. All right. Sorry about that. So as Rick comes up to that sign, like I was saying, it says, all dead, do not enter. And Rick is like, oh, fuck. Now all of a sudden, he see him hauling ass. He's hauling ass out there. He's running through the gates as fast as he can. All of a sudden, as Donna goes exploring, all of a sudden, it, it's like, it's like, what a coincidence. He reads that sign, and all hell breaks loose. The freaking zombie comes out, and he's like, Bleh. a zombie comes out, and Donna gets eaten out, man. Like, look at this. She gets eaten up, freaking eyeball popping out. What great artwork here, like, great, great detail. And she's like, ah! She's getting all eaten up, eating the neck, and another zombie's coming in way behind it here. And Donna and Alan's like, Donna, no! And then everyone's going after. And Rick is like, Don't shoot, don't shoot your guns. He's going after it, and they're like, Tyrese is holding Alan back. He's like, There's nothing you can do for her now, man. There's nothing you can do. And he's all in shock. He's like, No! He's like screaming. He's like, poof, poof, poof. He's like shooting the guns and you can hear blam, blam, blam. You can see that in the background right there. All of a sudden now, you can see that the zombies here, zombies are, you can see like their little heads are turning. They're all coming out of the woodwork now, going raised, zombie mass attack. All hell breaks loose now, guys. So uh, Rick is just sitting here. He's like, we need to get out of here now. He goes, what do you mean? What's What's going on? And Rick is just like, we need to get to that RV and get out of here right now. Because all in the distance here, as you can see, is that there are zombies going in. And then Alan's just like, no, just leave me here. Leave me with leave me with uh, Donna. Just leave me. And he's like, no, your kids need you. You need to come with me now. So they're dragging them out. And they're shooting. Blam. And then all of a sudden, Tyrese has got to go in. And he's got to try to get his kids because they went upstairs. And everyone's going back to the RV, <coughs> the whole gang group. So Rick is going with Tyrese, and he's going to try to get the kids. And he's like, if we don't come back, just leave without us. So he's going. And again, you can see like you can see all the zombies coming, and you can just picture Rick just running back. And he's like, oh, oh, damn, 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 you know. And he's running, and they're just blasting the shit out of all these zombies. Blam, and it's blam, blam. Things just going out, and then you see a freaking his his uh his little girl and her boyfriend are like having sex up there while the zombie apocalypse is going on. He's like, "What the hell are you guys do?" And he's like, "Get your freaking clothes on and let's go." So uh, it's just funny. So they're going up, and they're on top of the building here. So they're on top of it, and uh, again, now the zombies are just like crazy. They're like the whole thing is being overrun by zombies. You can't even recognize the whole building or estates or whatever it is. But Tyrese and Rick, they jump on with the kids. And then in the RV, all of a sudden, they start taking off. And it's like, boom, who knew that RV can go so fast? And then, you know, uh, the twins, they ask, you know, where's mom? And, and he's like, oh, they're, they're, she's dead. She's dead. And he... The, the twins just like don't know how to take it, so they go right over to Lori. The RV takes off, and the group is just lost now. They don't know what to do. They're stuck in the RV. They're running out of food. Um, Alan is a loose cannon. They don't know how things are going to turn out. Um, they just don't. The group doesn't know how long they're going to last without food. And you can see Rick here. He's just all discouraged. But what's going on? They're just scraping for things right at this point. So now they're talking about going hunting. So they're going hunting. Carl wants to go. Him and Tyrese, they want to go. Alan's staying behind. He's just kind of like way out there right now. And here's where the show and the comic come in together. We see that instead of Rick, Shane, and Carl going hunting, it's Rick, Tyrese, and Carl that are going hunting now. And we come across, and all of a sudden, Rick is like, did you hear that? And then as they, they, they think it may be food or something like that, and instead of them seeing a deer and Carl staring at the deer, all of a sudden we come across, and pow, Carl gets shot. And he gets shot right through the shoulder. 
and Rick is like, Carl, no, you know, and then uh, all of a sudden, uh, who the, Tyrese is like, who the fuck is shooting at us, and he goes, hey, who, what, what are you talking about, man, he's like, please don't shoot me, and we can see here, Otis, for the first time, makes his appearance, and you can see he's kind of a much lighter guy, uh, no goatee or anything like that. And Rick is just all pissed off. He's like, what did you do? You know? And uh, Tyrese is like, Rick, no, you know? And then all of a sudden, he, uh, Rick is like, what did you do? And then uh, uh, Otis like, he's like, sorry, sorry, man. And then he's like, do you realize what you did? And then we come up to the, to the last page, and he goes, I'll kill you. He's like, I'll fucking kill you. And that's the end of the issue. How freaking awesome is that, man? What a great, great ending to this particular issue, and issue number nine um, of The Walking Dead. Um, this issue, um, I loved it. Bringing, you know, going back and rewinding it back all the way to issue nine, um, rereading re this issue, it really held up just as good as it did today. And it was nice to see a little bit of a comparison from the show to the comic book. Um, really well done. Um, it just adds that drama into the book where you think, oh my God, we just saw Donna got killed. Now Carl could get killed. I mean, he just got shot. We don't know who the stranger is, who, who Otis is. We don't know where he came from, where he lives. But later, obviously, what you know is that this sets up for Herschel's farm. Um, but in the, in the comic series, it doesn't last nearly as long as it seems to last um, in the TV show. Um, but guys, tell me what you guys think about um, this particular issue, issue 9 of The Walking Dead, what you thought about it when you read it, um, or if this is your first time uh, having your eyes looked at it, what do you think about it, and uh, just leave me your comments down below, and that's it, that's it for The Walking Dead Rewind issue number 9. So, guys, until the next comic book review, this is Spider Slayer signing off, and as always, Thank you for watching Comic Book Corner. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye.